when the world had just begun, there lived a boy named Kiddington. He really stood out in a crowd. Howdy! He yelled real loud, the Kiddington. The sound that he makes is bigger than you'd ever figure a kid could make. Hello! Wherever he goes, he's yelling. He's compelling to keep folks away. In the history of the past, one voice possessed a sonic blast. Boom! He echoed like a thundercloud. His name is Loud, the Kidding Toad. Before the great fire of Chicago in 1870, W.C. Crawford established a new settlement called Hallsville. Loud and Steedberg arrives to speak to Crawford, which makes him happy. Hmm, what's a two-letter word that means feeling pain? Now there's a puzzle that really needs solving. What makes things fall to the ground instead of just floating up into the air? What a grouch! Can't you kids at least warn me when you drop something? I did what I could. I, Nostradamus, predict Joan of Arc will be burned at the stake. I was right! That's all? What a chip. Lincoln would have given me a $5 bill just to pipe down. Give me a home where the buffalo roam, where the deer and the ants all obey. Where seldom is heard a discouraging word, and the skies are not cloudy all day. Ten-day delivery? Amazing! Thank you, Pony Express! Well, our pleasure, partner. Let's follow the trail to rescue paper meals in the Great Chicago Fire. <laughs> hey, if you are a star or celebrity, then I know a fan, oh man, she'll jump out of her tree. So look out, here comes Pepper. You better run for the hills. She'll try any rooms till she gets your autograph. If you refuse, it could be your epitaph. You give her the chills, she's Pepper Mills. <laughs> Pepper. He's always there, fighting for freedom over land and air. G.I. Joe is there. G.I. Joe is there. G.I. Joe is the code name for America's daring, highly trained special mission force. Its purpose, to defend human freedom against Cobra, a ruthless terrorist organization determined to rule the world. He never gives up, he'll stay till the fight's won. G.I. Joe will dare. Want to see what your future holds? Yeah! I see a battle with warm milk. Ooh! I see a diaper change. Ah! I see... I see... 1871, Chicago, Illinois. The event, the Great Chicago Fire. 17,000 buildings destroyed, 90,000 people left homeless. And some say it was all started in a barn by a cow. Eat the cows. Because of them, those Chicago will be the Great Chicago Fire. What a check, Captain! Oh my gosh! Spread ahead! You won't believe it! Yo, Toast, have you seen Big Fat Baby? Negatory. And there's no leakage. Lucky Bob definitely needs a vacay. Where are you? Like, I didn't know girls were allowed to be Mounties. They won't be until the 1970s. We just thought we looked hot in these red jackets. Oh, no. This is a disaster. Bummer. 
I'm not happy. Relax, everybody! Look what Frogo made! Frankly, he's been a pain in my derriere for years. And from now on, I'm buying my milk from the market. Not gonna have any of those filthy lion fire starting cows around this house no more. I'll tell you that. Look, the very fabric of the universe has pulled apart and left a rift in reality. So yes, it's an emergency! They were smart to call us in, Billy. Right, Wendy. It's a big one. We have to rescue all the campers. But then we've got to get here. There are six natural gas wells. We can't let the fire reach them or raise the air temperature too much. If it does, they'll blow sky high. Yeah, and we wanted to tell everyone watching that there's no way she had anything to do with this terrible fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Barry, it's feeding time. Hey, we're off. Holy smokes, Churchill! What a guy. Jake Justice to Billy Blazes. Come in, Billy. I read you, Jake. All the campers are safely out of the area. Good. Let's get to those gas wells. We've got to get out of here. Implement emergency evacuation procedures. Code red. Move it. This is a disaster. Harsh. What a grump. Come on, let's get it. Who wants water? Oh, General. On behalf of the citizens of Georgia, I beg you to call off this brutal march to the heart of the Confederacy. It's nothing short of total war. It could burn for hundreds of years. Uh-oh, Billy. We have a big problem. Those three gas storage tanks, their temperature's rising. You must have something you can tell me about. Anything! Is silence the only thing you're remembered for? Well, at least if you're silent, you never say anything stupid. The buck stops here! Meet Buck! One of my men. I don't think he got out. What? His name's Chris Party. I think he's still trapped in the building. Wendy, help him. Come with me, sir, and put on this mask. We'll finish, coach! Really? Yup, the job is Thank you, Panama Teddy. Because of you, the Panama Canal won't be called the Panama Big Hole in the Ground. Ah, uh, <laughs> don't you know it's gonna be all right? Well, Emperor General Dude, doesn't look like those guys have made any progress at all. Now, what about the cannons? Can we give up the cannons? The English seem pretty interested in our cannons. Uh, but my pig leg got stuck in the floorboards. I was tugging on it and tugging. So I, I pulls my leg out and hops away. The chemical in this fire extinguisher will do just that. And remember, always keep a fire extinguisher handy in your home. It's the most reliable bet in almost every situation. Remember, think like a rescue hero. Think safe. And don't forget about struggling to survive from... The Great Chicago Fire.